All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a couple of real people out there just like you and just like me. Thanks for being here, folks. Appreciate it. Patrons, uh, YouTube members, thank you. Thank you. You're keeping this thing going. I know there are some unhappy people, but I'm still going. Um, here's some new music for you. Grand, second to none. All right, been promoting this album quite a bit, courtesy of Frontier's Music, your usual great 80s reference points as far as bands uh, this is like. Um, but again, it's got its own thing, and its own thing is really good. So check out Grand. Uh, they're not worth as much money as Donald Trump, even though their name is Grand. Grand is just pocket change for Trump. Now, why am I talking about Trump here? Well, this story is about Donald Trump and a hair metal band. Yeah. The hair metal band crushed by Donald Trump is the headline. Making the headlines for his bold statements about women through the years. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump also played a key role in the downturn of an all-female hair metal band. Yeah. Back in the day, Trump was a big name in real estate, and often he would cross paths with figures from the music industry. Among these was Danny Pritzker, whose father, Jay, was connected to the businessman through their joint ownership of the Grand Hyatt Hotel in New York. In those years, Pritzker was collaborating with this band called Precious Metal. The band was working on their second album, uh, featuring uh, help from bands like Cheap Trick and Heart. That's pretty cool. So they must have thought that uh, this band was going somewhere. Um, Chameleon Records was a subsidiary of Capitol Records. So they were prepared, at least initially, to go big or go home. At one point, though, I guess they did go home. It was their first major deal and a big step for them. But as the 80s moved into the 90s, the kind of music Precious Metal played was becoming less popular in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, um, Danny needed a way to get the band noticed again. So he came up with the idea to feature Donald Trump in their music video for a cover of the classic song, Mr. Big Stuff. Remember the Gene Knight song from 1960 something, I believe, or maybe early 1970 something? Yeah, Mr. Big Stuff. It's been in commercials. It's been all over the place. Uh, they were doing a glam rock cover, and it's pretty good. I listened to it. It's actually pretty good. Leslie Nauer later talked about this experience, saying Trump said he'd do it for 10 grand and give it to his favorite charity. So he went to New York to the Grand Hyatt Hotel, just me and Janet. Um, and this is Robin, the lead guitarist, talking here. He showed up with an entourage and about 10 bodyguards in the suit he always wears with the red tie. He was very professional. He said how much he loved the song. I think he said something like this. I mean, this song is incredible. It's amazing. It's one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. That I can tell you. Um, Janet Robin also noted, at the time, I had no reservations about working with him. He was awesome. He was someone I had seen in trash magazines, and it was funny meaning like the tabloids. The plan was to have Trump playfully teased by Nauer in the music video. Oh no, <laughs> that's not a good idea. Everything went smoothly during the filming, but after things changed, as she shared, we're doing PR shots at the end, and he put his arm around me and said, you know, you've got a really hot body. No cellulite there. Nope, not one little bit. And he actually did say this, by the way. Uh, it was inappropriate, and I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> More issues came along when MTV said they'd put Precious Metal song on high rotation straight away. If the video included Trump, the businessman later criticized the band's music and claimed he did more than initially planned in their clip. He wanted his fee bumped up to $250,000. And I'll have Mexico pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ro 
Rumors linked his sudden change of heart to a disagreement with Jay Pritzker about his airline, the Trump shuttle. Could it be that this woman pushed back on Trump and that's probably why he decided not to do it? With no way to pay the former president's new fee, the band had to redo the video with someone else pretending to be him. The new version didn't get on MTV, and as music tastes changed, Chameleon and Precious Metal's time came to an end. Three years later, Trump sued the Pritzkers over their business together with Hyatt Hotel. When he ran for president in 2016, neither Robin nor Nauer were supporters. <laughs> wow. He bumped his fee from 10 grand to 250,000. You know, yeah, sounds a lot like what Trump would do, right? But this is the only guy who can save us. He's the, he's the Messiah. He's the one that's been sent by God to save us from everything. So there you have it. You have precious metal, a kind of obscure but fairly cool all-female glam metal band, and Donald Trump putting his arm around the lady and saying, hey, baby, <laughs> I, I notice you don't have any cellulite. That's amazing. You know, everyone else I date, very much tons of cellulite. I don't know what to do. It's a very difficult situation. Um, you know, Donald could probably pay for liposuction if they needed it. So uh, in any event, these girls apparently didn't need it. You know what we need? We need more laughter in the world today. And hence, you've got me and this video. Um, Grand, second to none. Again, I pick out this band called Grand. Uh, everything is bigger and better when it comes to Donald Trump. That I can tell you. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Um, please support the channel. I need some grand viewership. <laughs> I, need, I need some views. I need some subscribers. I need patrons. I need everything. You know, I, I need someone like Donald Trump who could support this channel for the next 20 years. That's all I'm asking for. Maybe 20 years of nonstop funding. Um, but I rely on you guys. I appreciate it very much. If you like this crazy content and my cheesy, quirky sense of humor, then this is the right th this this is the right, right place for me. What? what 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 am I doing? I'm doing the Trump hand motions. Um, thank you very much for watching. God bless everyone. Uh, pray for peace in the Middle East and pray for 2024 in general. This is going to be a wacky, crazy year in politics and probably in world history as well. See you soon.